hi guys so this is going to be the general read um for all signs and just seeing what pops out for you today we had the full moon in aquarius um last night into today very powerful energies with that full moon because it was in opposition to the sun and leo so a lot of fear could be taking over a lot of people the collective society overwhelming fear fear about money fear about safety because the moon rules over cancer so cancer is the home safety security heritage your roots and um, there's something that's emotionally upsetting for a lot of people in opposition to being brave and strong so that's just based on the sun's alignment with the moon and a full moon and then we have venus and libra codependency love compassion strong partnerships connected to the north node we have toil and labor this is like you've been working very hard it could feel like you're just you feel like you're just part of um part of a machine you're like one of the cogs in the machine working working it may be feeling tiring physically tiring as opposed to like mentally draining it could just be physical what else have we got here for all signs the family room so these are messages things that are of personal in nature it's about the family and it's the energy of things that aren't talked about it's quiet conversations behind closed doors um no okay the house this is about wealth and abundance and a residence having a large comfortable residence um it could just be a sufficient residence the coffin this is a change it doesn't mean it's like the death card it's just a change so there are thoughts here, imagination, thinking about the future, distant horizons, other places, travel, and then we have here journeying. Something could just feel very hard for you right now, like where you you want a major change, you want a, something different for yourself. Okay, so now we're getting great fortune. Okay, so what's coming in is it looks like there might be an opportunity for you somewhere other than where you are right now. And it could mean that you could have an improved lifestyle with the house. Um, the coffin suggests that there will be a change, like it won't be the same as what, what you're doing. Um, toiling and laboring, to me, that doesn't really look like it's the best situation, although it is work. So you, you do have work. Um, bad health. You know, there could be a situation where you're working long hours and it could be not the best for your health to be working under these conditions. So if it looks here like you're going to be offered something else, somewhere else. Privileged ladies on the bottom. Um... A message of concern receiving a message of concern from someone there could be someone other than you that's going through bad health as well privileged lady is coming up here okay so you may be getting a message from a family member regarding their health and perhaps you're going to go visit them as well that could be what this is occupation there's more of this energy of like you're working hard you're toiling you're laboring unexpected income okay this is good
Any other messages? Message of concern. So these are the energies we have. It's like there's some kind of message that you're going to be getting from someone about someone's health or health concerns. Um, okay, bottom of the deck was the lovers. I'm just going to leave that toil and labor up. It might be that you're doing it to yourself, like maybe you can take more breaks at your job. Is there a way you can sort of incorporate longer breaks where you go outside and get fresh air and not have to be cooped up? Um, because there could be mental health issues too that come up with um, the moon right now in Pisces when you're just toiling and laboring. Um, by yourself alone for long periods of time. Um, taking a, multiple breaks. But I think you'd want to ask. Like You don't want to take them and then you get in trouble. Oh, we have the justice here. Fairness, balance, and equality. It's major arcana. I'm just going to put it here. Something will be balancing in your life. Okay, we have the Aries energy here, Queen of Wands. Could be Leo or Sagittarius as well. But it's coming up as the Queen of Fire. Okay, there's a tower. There's something that's unexpected. It sort of shakes up a situation. It sort of um, rocks the foundation of a, a scenario. There's an ace of fire, something that is triggering or it sparks. Wow. Crossing the energy is the tower, something unexpected. Underlying energy here is exciting. Recent past energy is a ten of pentacles. Could be money, wealth, long-term commitments. Crowning your energy is celebration. Queen of Air, cutting someone out of your life, it's energy of Libra, putting up a boundary, saying you won't tolerate something anymore, there was a lot of fear here, Nine of Swords, a lot of anxiety surrounding a situation, Empress here is around you, a very loving, kind and compassionate person, you're wanting Knight of Wands. Travel, movement, relocation. And what is the outcome? Seven of Cups. Confusion. Too many options. Too many choices. Ace of Coin in the world. Okay, so you are given a new opportunity. What is the tower? What is the tower? Okay, there's something here about the loss or a sadness. Um, and it came in with the seven of swords. Lies. Deception. And you get the truth here with the star. So you'll be able to move on from a situation once you get the truth. Or you get clarity. Or you decide that you're going to put this situation behind you. What is the Queen of Air here in the future? Okay, there is loyalty or a Knight of Coin. Okay, there's a King of Water and a Six of Air. So there could be a very emotional person. It could be somebody who you're either avoiding or it could be somebody who's coming back around. It could be someone who's apologizing for creating a tower. If somebody created a tower, what is the Empress? 
Emperor and Empress. Okay, power couple. Uh, a, a counterpart. But there's indecision about whether to move on. So it almost looks like somebody was upset about something. However, the energy coming in is happiness, joy, celebration. What is the Nine of Cups? High Priestess, distancing yourself from a situation, letting go, Eight of Air. It was too stressful. Okay, what is the energy here? Strength. Being very strong, distancing yourself, having a good time, even if someone around you is not doing so well. Queen of Coin is here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay, so let's see what the Kipper has to say one more time. So this outcome gives you an opportunity, the Ace of Coin. So you could either be giving this Ace of Coin, and this is bringing in the world, the completion of the cycle. It's closing something out. Courtship. imprisonment <laughs> a wealthy man and the distant horizons this looks like an opportunity for love or career the thief oh. who is the thief we don't want the thief Bad health, okay. Um, if somebody says to you, I'm really needing money, um, I'm either in jail or I'm really sick and I need the money, I would it would behoove you to ask them, what is the money for? Like, or can I have some proof or something? Yeah, because it's showing someone who's in despair. Um, they might be in bad health, but the thief card... Unexpected income and the adjudication. This could be a court case that you're winning um, where someone was deceptive because with the justice energy here, and it could be work related. Like, um, some of you really need this money for children, um, poverty. And it will go through. I do feel like it will go through. The world is a great success. It symbolizes closure. Um, it may be a divorce proceeding. It could be any kind of court matter. But I do feel like it's going to go in your favor. Um, I feel like it's something about unfair practices at work. Like where somebody was making you work long hours or something like that. And you didn't get a break. Something about breaks. Like, you didn't get the breaks you were supposed to. And it looks like here you're going to prevail. So I'm just going to leave it here. Thanks for tuning in and take care.